everyone, it's Rebecca with Brand True, and I want to talk today about ways that you can make a name more memorable. So there are a lot of things you can do. Rhyming helps names be more memorable, alliteration, but I want to focus today on this idea of picking names that have meaning in them. So when names describe what you're selling in a really straightforward way, um, then that's obvious, that has meaning, that can be very memorable. But that may not always be what you want to do or what is the most logical thing for you to do strategically. So when you need to move away from a straightforward description, you can still be thinking about things to put meaning into your name. I'll give you an example that goes the other direction, a couple. Kodak and Xerox. We have a lot of associations with them, a lot of meaning because they've been around forever. But when those brands launched, they were completely empty vessels. And a name like that is actually difficult for people to remember. It's very expensive to spend a lot of uh, money on advertising to teach people what it means. But there are lots of alternatives. There are ways that you can borrow interest from meaning in words to help it be more memorable. Um, and it can also help you communicate things. So here's an example. The Blackberry, at the time that it was uh, introduced, was this very sort of different um, and much more powerful phone. Before smartphones, we had Blackberries. We were all addicted to them, trust me on this. And this was a name that made technology um, a lot friendlier, a lot less intimidating, kind of like Apple computers before them. They were probably learning from Apple. And the fact that you could see something that you picture a Blackberry in your mind when you hear that name gives your brain more to latch onto, makes it a lot more memorable. And there's a couple of other examples. You can have a made up word that still has a lot of meaning because people can hear things in the made up word. For example, Intel isn't really a word, but when they launched that chip brand way back when, the fact that it sounded like intelligence meant that it was a vessel with meaning in it, even though it was a made up word. A more recent example, Groupon, that's not really a word, but it's almost a word. You hear Groupon, you think group coupon, lots of meaning, that makes it more memorable. So in general, if you're looking at different name options, think about selecting a name that has some meaning in it can really help it be more memorable, which is always going to help you out. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Thanks. Hi, thanks for watching. If you think that Brand True might be able to help you out with naming, brand strategy, or storytelling, come check us out at brandtrue.com. We'd love to help you to get your story out there and tell it to the world, and we promise we will tell you the truth about whether or not we think that we might be able to help.